you once again in Love First Book. We have Natalie and Addison and they're gonna tell us a beautiful story. We met Addison a couple of days in a public speech that she gave us and we knew what she was doing and that's why we are here inviting her to tell you all what she is doing. I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be the best, a huge support for her cause. So welcome to our show, Addison. Hello, thank you for having me. My pleasure. <laughs> Natalie? Hello, thank you. Okay, so let's start with Natalie Addison's mother. Uh, Natalie, what are you, let's, let's know a little bit about Addison's life. Well, Addison has always been um, a kind and compassionate young girl. Um, ever since she was really little, I remember one of her daycare workers telling me that um, she spent the nap time rubbing other children's backs to help them get to sleep. So she's always been a really kind young lady. You can see in Addison's face how <laughs> beautiful girl she is. And, and uh, let me tell you something, she has one of the biggest hearts we have found so far in Love First. So, and, so the family came, uh, uh, you, you're all Canadian, uh, you grew up in London. Yeah, so we're actually a blended family. Um, we, uh, there's five of us here, um, Addison, my partner, um, and then we have, two, it was just Addison and I, and then our partner joined, my partner, um, and then we have two other little ones. So the five of us are here, um, and we really wanted to cultivate a sense of community here, in our community. And we have a lot of elderly folks on the street, not a lot of young families, and so that's how the whole idea actually originated. Um, Addison created these letters, dropped them off door to door on the street, saying she'd like to have a street-wide sale so that we could get to know some of our neighbors a little bit more. Let's go to the point where uh, where is Addison's idea? Where, where is Boris? Because normally these things come because the family yeah. has something around that or is, is the way she's been, uh, what she's been watching from you to the family? Um, I think that Addison, I think our kids are a mirror of ourselves. And so um, working in the field that I worked in and my partner being super compassionate and really kind and giving. I think that she just saw that and it just took off from there. Yeah. So it was it was with your mom? Was it your mom's fault? <laughs> it was everybody's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it was it mostly because of my mom and I know that she's done a lot of good in this world and I want to be like her when I grow up. That's so good. you're proud of your mom? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so when, when, when you were talking about uh, some letters that you're going to tell us later, uh, the details, but there's some letters going on and uh, so uh, the idea is to uh, uh, bring the letters to all the neighbors. Yeah, so we wanted to get to know our neighbors because we didn't really know anyone and after living here at that time, we lived here for five, uh, four years, we still didn't know a lot of people and so we wanted to bring our community together and um, so Addison wrote up letters and delivered them all and said a little speech to everyone at their doorstep and it just kind of took off from there. So what was the response? Um, most people liked the idea of it. Um, some people were tired, some people were awake. There was lots of <laughs> there was lots of responses from different people. Because everybody's different. There was some like you couldn't really tell if they were happy or like they didn't like it at all. But there's also people that were like lit up with an excitement because someone's doing good for this neighborhood. Yeah. And there was lots of different Did people bring stuff down? Yes, lots. Yeah. <laughs> we had to put it in our basement. Yeah. yeah. In our garage. <laughs> and our backyard. So you start receiving a lot of stuff. Yes. Day one. Mm -hmm. Some people want to drop stuff off now. <laughs> but we have drop off times because we don't have so much room for everything. Because last year it was, it was huge. And that was another thing is that it took so many people to hold a, a garage sale like this. It wasn't just the five of us and our family. It was other neighbors that came by to help sell things or family that came by, um, Addison's grandma, 
made a whole bunch of baked goods and she brought them and, and just sort of donated them for Addison to sell. And our friend Deb that lives on the other street behind us, she came and was the money person. She counted the money. She counted all the money. She accepted all the money from people. She guarded all the money. So it was very much a community effort, not only in preparing for the garage sale, but also the day of setting it up. Like we get up pretty early to start putting everything up. I was still asleep last year when you guys were putting things out. Yeah. And through the whole experience, we've met more neighbors that we hadn't met before. There's a family down the street that... Yeah, she brings so us she gingerbread makes special every gingerbread year. just for Addison and brings it down for us. And had we not had something like that, we would not even know them, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it means, uh, other than the sale of the, the fundraising, you're doing another good deed. Yeah. Yes. Putting the community together. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I'm proud of everyone that helped us. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of my mom, I'm proud of my dad, I'm proud of my brother and sister. I'm proud of everybody. Um, and it makes me feel good because it means that we're helping not just people for the charity, that work with the charity, but we're helping the neighbors too. Because we didn't know half the people on our street until we did the garage sale. So it's bringing our neighborhood together which makes me really proud of everybody. Our show is uh, is been an amazing time so far with Addison and Natalie. We're talking about what Addison is doing and how the family and all the neighbors have been supporting her with a garage sale. Basically, it's a fundraising. She is putting together every year, and every year is growing more. We're going to talk a little bit about that, and uh, all the money that she is getting from the garage sale is being uh, given to a charity. A charity that she does a huge research <laughs> and she decided where the money goes every year. So let's continue talking with Alice. You tell me about your life. Well, I'm 10 years old. I'm homeschooled. My birthday was just a few days ago. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, and uh, I like doing many things, but the thing that I like doing the most is to help people. That's why we do the charity garage sale. But I also like to read, I like to rock climb, I like to swim, I like to play soccer. I, I try to be very active, but I have my moments where I just want to be lazy. Most of the time. <laughs> That's most of the time I have my moments. You need some downtime. I need some downtime. Every, but I also have to be active at some points. That's why I like to do soccer and sports and stuff like that. How was the first idea, the spark that came to your mind and said, oh, I can do something? Um, that I can do something big, but it doesn't have to be big. It can be small. So the first year, it wasn't very big. It wasn't as big as the second year, but we still helped and I still got to feel good because I did something good. Okay, when we when we talk about uh, your friends, let's go to your friends, yeah? all your uh, no family and people your age, um, little people. <laughs> How you do you invite them to to participate with you to make that change with you? What what do you talk about this with them? Um, I do have some friends that usually help. But most of my friends, they'll just come and sell their own stuff. But I also have friends that also like to help people. So they'll come over and they'll help us raise the money. Yeah, most of my friends like helping people. Um, but some of them, they like helping people. They just don't always get involved. They, they can, they choose not to. But they like to help people in different ways. And I have some friends that like to help just with like, just watching some kids that they can babysit. That's another great way to 
make someone's day because then they get to go out and do what they want. We want to be help people because that the helps people. them. The people. Yes, the people. The people. They are people. They are people. At the end of the day, we're all people. We all yes. want to help. Yes. So that's how you start. <laughs> and how you know about charity? It all came to my, my mind that doing something small a day can make a big difference. So I wanted to help and I said, charity, that's a great idea. I choose the charities and uh, it's, there's always a reason why I choose those charities. For Autism Ontario this year, it's because I have relatives on the spectrum and I have friends on the spectrum. And last year it was Ronald McDonald's house. Some of my mom's friends and my dad's friends have kids that were there and I want to be able to help them because I've met some of them. So I wanted to be able to help them. And then the first year we choose make a chose Make-A-Wish because I wanted to, I don't know anyone that, made, that went to Make-A-Wish. So every year you sit down do the research and how is the which organizations are out there mm -hmm. and which one is the best to, to help. There's lots of big ones, there's also small ones. I like to help the smaller ones so they can get bigger so more people also help them. Um, there's not there's not my like I don't have favorites because it's a charity, but um, I like to make a wish because at the end I got to I got to like I got to know who I helped and things like that that makes you feel good about yourself and that you can help others through this thing things <laughs> things that you can help people through these things. a lot of money coming here why don't you take the money for you um because it's we want to be able to help people and it's not exactly um lots of people do have garage sales they keep the money for themselves but just sending the money to just even if it was just like thirty dollars sending the money to somewhere, it could do a big difference there. So instead of keeping the money for yourself, I would send it out to the charity because it's helping someone and taking it for yourself, yes, you're making money, but do you really wanna, would you rather make money than rather not help people? And that's why I like to send it out to the charities instead of keeping it for myself. So you wanna help? Yes. <laughs> That's your goal? Yes. At the beginning, we were talking a bit about a letter. So that's how everything started. So you start writing letters to go to bring around the neighborhood. And yes. what were you writing in those letters? Um, we said in the letters what charity we have chosen and stuff like that. But since my mom did help, and I already said this, but I forgot. So since my mom did help with people that had disabilities or problems that they couldn't solve on their own, that it really came to mind that there's lots of people that need that help, um, that we want to spread the message. So we gave letters to people in this neighborhood so they could help others just by donating things. And that... So that was the first year. Mm -hmm. The second year you did the same. Yes. You sent the letters again, inviting people back to the, but they knew already, so they, they were more uh, ready to help. Mm -hmm. So on the first uh, um, garage sale, how much money you raised? We raised a, a little over $400 for Make-A-Wish Foundation. Beautiful. Then comes the second year. We raised $1,700 for Ronald House. Beautiful. And this year, the third year. When is it going to happen? It is happening on July 20th, 2019. Um, what time? Uh, um, 8 to 12. 8 to 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this year we're having live music and a barbecue at the garage sale. Mm -hmm. All 
all these people who are watching right now are gonna come here to see what you're doing yeah. and to help somehow, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna make a big, big deal this year. So it's gonna be not 1700. How much you want to raise this year? I want to raise a little over 1800. 1800 or 2800? 2800. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you hearing? Okay. That's where we have to go, okay? So this year, the money is going to the Autism uh, Ontario uh, organization. What does it mean to you? It means lots of things to me, but it also means that we can bring people to, like, just doing a little thing, just like smiling, it can make someone's day better because they might have had a hard day and you're making their day better by just being happy, just, just showing them that you can also do, um, like you can make someone happy just by doing a little deed every day. You can smile, you can wave, you can, you can go up and give them a hug, like we did lots of mm -hmm. times <laughs> with the lots neighbors. Lots of hugging lots at, of hugs. at the garage sales too. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so this is Addis, and there's too much still to come and too much to talk with Addison. So we're gonna go for a small break and when we come back, we're gonna continue listening to this amazing, beautiful story uh, of Addison and her garage set. We'll be back in home. Is Addison uh, uh, is a beautiful girl as you can hear her and see her she is telling a lot of stories a lot of uh, emotional part that she's been living around and uh, the, but the most uh, amazing thing that we can get from Addison is her intention and her, uh, uh, her willing to help and uh, that's something that as always I said in our shows is we still have too much to learn and too much to change. So Addison is a big example for all of us, as uh, you can you hear her already. And uh, um, uh, so let's let's move on with all this uh, message, uh, this powerful message that she is sending us with her garage cell, with her intentions, with her willing to do something good all the time with all the people, as as she said. At the end of the day, we are all people. Yeah. Tell me about your feelings. When you see somebody who is hurt, what do you, what do you feel? What do you think? I, I, um, I'm very sensitive and seeing people hurt makes me hurt because we all want to be happy. We all try to be happy, but sometimes we just have our moments and and just, and because we have our moments, we want to change those moments from being sad to happy, but it's not always that easy. We need to make someone feel good after they might be hurt. So I'm hurt, but I also want to change from being hurt to being ecstatic with excitement for things, just like smiling at a person. I want to be ecstatic for that. Because people smiling at me makes me happy, and when I smile at people, that makes me happy. Or, no, that makes yeah. them happy. <laughs> and me happy. Cause yeah. I, um, so you think that the, well, every time you do something good, you're making that change. When you smile, you're changing the other person. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alison, we have here you the story of how you brought this up. And this is the third year you putting together a, a, a fundraising to help others. You are just 10 years old. You have a powerful message that you have given all of us. And I'm pretty sure that everybody behind uh, our screens right now are very touchy for what you've been doing. And uh, so I want you to send them a message. What do you think they, they should know 
they should do to be better, to be good, to do good. No matter your age, no matter your no matter your age, no matter your religion, your culture, you can make a change even if there's something just making just smiling, it can change a person's day. Um, so you can do lots of little things to make a big difference. So do something little every day and you'll change someone's day for sure. And you'll make it better than it was a few minutes before that. What is the thing that you love the most? I love to help people. I like to make people feel good. I like to make me feel good about myself because we all have our flaws and we all pick ourselves apart about them. But we want to change from thinking bad about ourselves to thinking good about ourselves. So if we do something good, we'll feel good about ourselves, but we also know that someone else feels better than they were just a few seconds, minutes ago. How you feel right now? I feel happy. I feel excited. I feel ecstatic yeah. with, with <laughs> happiness. With happiness. <laughs> with happiness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just going to close this today with a, a, a big, big uh, thank you to Addison from not only from me, from all the people who are watching you, all the people in the community, because uh, girls or people like you is what we need. Thank we you. want a change. We need a change. It's a time for all of us to make something that is going to move the community or our society in a different direction. No? So, and as we, our mandate and love first is to do everything with love first. Uh, uh, Addison is the best example. I brought this and I want you to wear it every day. I will. It's a pin. Thank you. Of love first because we are making Addison an ambassador of love first Whoa. from now on. Thank you. Okay. Thank Addison, you. thank you very much for your uh, work. So July the 20th, from 8 in the morning to 12, a big garage sale fundraising at Allison's house. So Allison, what is your address? 188 Dawn Drive, London, Ontario. Okay, information is going right now on your screen. So please follow up this address. Uh, also, you are watching right now the uh, Facebook uh, address of Addison. Um, like them, follow them, and please donate. Remember, the garage sale doesn't mean that you have to bring things only. You can bring money, you can donate. So the cost is bigger and more people is going to be uh, um, supported by Addison's uh, cost. Okay? Addison, congratulations. Thank Give me five. Thank you. Good. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, ladies. It was a pleasure. Thank you for coming here. My pleasure. <laughs>